Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So in this video, I want to show you how you can add custom CSS to your Elementor Pro pop-ups to achieve various effects like this one. As you can see, when I mouse over this pop-up, the text increases its color, the pop-up scales up and the background color changes and there's a neat little box shadow on this pop-up. This is all done using custom CSS and I'll show you how in a bit. You can watch this animation again. As I take my cursor back, it returns to its original state. Let me mouse over this again. You can see the text increasing its size first. Then the pop-up scales up and the background changes with a neat little box shadow. We're basically using custom CSS together with CSS animations and transitions. I've already taught that in another video. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So I highly recommend you go check that out in order to learn how to make your own animations such as this one. Since these pop-ups are nothing but elementary templates, I can basically use custom CSS to change any properties such as color, background color, gradient. Well, you just need to click on this settings cog. Under advanced, you need to go to custom CSS. And this is where you type in all the code that is required to change various properties of this pop-up. So here's the actual pop-up without any custom CSS or animation. So I'll just click on the settings cog, go to custom CSS. And the first thing that I need to type is selector. So that will select the entire pop-up. Of course, it also selects the overlay, but we only want the pop-up content to be selected. And the class for that is dialog widget content. So you can change the background color and you can see that the background color of whole pop-up is changed. So this dialog widget content is the class that selects the content within this pop-up. So I'll change the background color from red to pink and you can see that gets reflected in here instantaneously. And as we all know that we're trying to animate various properties of this one. So I need to specify that using a code called transition. So this means that I'm going to change various properties of this particular class or in this case I'm trying to animate the pop-up. I've already taught transitions. Remember you can check that video out before you can check this video so that you'll clearly understand what I'm doing here. So the property that I'm trying to transition here is of course background color and I'll give it a duration of four seconds. I'll maybe give it a ease and maybe add a delay of two seconds. So that's all. And I also want to transition box shadow of this pop-up. As of now, there's no box shadow on this and the duration for that, let me give the same duration and the same properties for that. So I added background color, which is the default background color. And then I added a transition Basically that specifies that I'm going to change background color and the duration of transition will be four seconds with ease animation and it will start after two seconds. This is basically transition delay. So I'll also animate box shadow of this particular pop-up. Next, I need to specify the class or the class that will actually animate this or the event that will animate this. So since we're doing it on hover, all I need to do is to type the same code but add hover keyword here and rest of the content is same. So this is basically when you hover over this pop-up apply the code that I'm going to type here. Since we've mentioned that we're going to transition background color let me add a background color after transition to blue. So this will ba basically animate the background from pink to blue. Let's check it out. And we've set the duration to four seconds and we've also set an initial delay. So it will start after two seconds and it will change the background color to blue. So let's check it out. I'll hover over this particular pop-up and you can see the background gradually changes. That's great. I've also specified that I need to animate box shadow. So let's add box shadow property. And again, I've been teaching a lot of custom CSS on this channel. You can check playlist 
customize your website and build your own widgets to get more familiar with it so the code for box shadow is pixels 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 and the color that i want so i want a blue tinge to my box shadow apart from changing the background color and the box shadow i also want to stretch this pop-up to give it a bit more personality so the property for that is transform so i'll basically transform this pop-up and i'll specify some properties for it maybe ease i don't maybe i'll have a delay of two seconds the same way that other properties have and in here i need to type the code for transform so the transform that i want here is scale and amount by which i want to stretch it horizontally and the amount by which i want to stretch it vertically so if both are same it will stretch symmetrically else it will get distorted so always make sure you scale symmetrically with same x and y values so that's great let's see how it looks like as you can see it stretches a bit and everything else scales up that's great we are there but not quite there yet notice the difference well the text doesn't animate along with the pop-up that's because we have specified the code only for the pop-up itself but not the text within the pop-up so here i have a heading widget and a rich text editor widget so if you have these kinds of text then you can animate them using the code that i'm going to show you now so click on the cog again advanced custom css and you need to type selector which will select the whole pop-up and within the selector you also need to type dialog widget content which is basically the content of the pop-up and then you need to type something called elementor heading title this is the class that will select the heading widget within this so so we even want to animate this we want to scale this up and also change the color of this to maybe white i guess so let's do that so we just need to specify transition here and the transition that i want to apply here is color and the duration for that will also be five four seconds can leave the rest or maybe i can add a delay of two seconds i guess and then the other property that i want to change is to scale the text so again similar to what we have done here you can simply copy and paste this one so i'll just do that so the text will also scale along with the whole pop-up so you can uniformly see the scaling up effect so we've added that to the heading title and the next thing that we need to do is to copy the whole class hierarchy and of course add hover to here because that's when the user hovers over this so here i want to change the color to white so on hover along with the background color of this one it will also change the text color to white and then i want to apply a transform which is a scale transform again scale it by 1.2 along horizontally and vertically 1.2 vertically so let's see how that looks like so let me hover over this and you can see even the text or the heading widget scales up and it changes its color so that's great and when you take your cursor back everything else returns to normal so that's really great now let's do the same thing with this rich text editor widget i'll quickly copy the code for the rich text editor widget only the last class changes which is elementor text editor and for heading widget it's elementor heading title so we can also copy paste the code that we have for the heading widget because it's the same code or the same transition that we are trying to achieve for rich text editor which is basically this code right here so you can copy paste this and then don't worry everything will be in the description down below and again as i said you need to add a hover to specify that we'll add 
the code only when user hovers over this and you can simply copy the code from the heading widget it will now scale both the pop-up the heading widget and also the text editor widget and everything scales up properly and the color of heading widget and also the rich text editor widget changes that's great and there's even a little box shadow behind this pop-up because that's what we've initially included so that's great when you mouse over anywhere this particular code will animate the pop-up but what if you want this pop-up to be animated only when you put your cursor on the pop-up content itself not on the overlay well the easiest way to do that is to change the hover from here and put it here sorry about that I'll just cut this and put it here and the same thing applies here so I just wherever there's dot dialog widget content I just need to put hover over there so whenever it hovers so that's the class that will select this So you can remove hover from selector and put it at the end of dialog widget content. So that will apply the code only when you hover over this pop-up itself instead of the whole overlay. So let's click on update. Let me click on save and close. So now the pop-up will animate only when the user hovers over this dialog box or the pop-up itself but not on the overlay and here we've actually scaled the text we've actually scaled the text using 2d transform you can do that however I've just commented it out you can remove this star and forward slash from both sides and that becomes active or you can simply co copy the code in between so you can also animate the font size property to achieve the animation for the text so you can specify an initial font size for your heading widget and an initial font size for your rich text editor widget you can then animate it to whichever value you want so this is what I've done if you want to do it using the transform way you can do it you can remove this and keep the transform way itself I've anyways added both in the transition so no matter which you use it will work the code will work you just need to change this either remove this and copy paste the content in between these or leave it as is so that the font size itself animates so let's see the final output of our pop-up as I mouse over this one gradually increases its size and there you have it it changes the text color background color and adds a little box shadow so that's how you animate and when I take my cursor back it returns to its normal state so that's how you animate pop-ups using custom CSS and CSS transitions don't worry the code will be available to you in the description simply copy and paste the code wherever you want and also make sure you tweak these values so that the pop-up will look good if you have a pop-up that's really big Maybe you may want to avoid this scaling up. If you have a pop-up this short, it's better to apply scaling effect. If you already have a big pop-up, maybe you can scale it down. So you can have a negative value here, minus 1.2, minus 1.2. So it actually shrinks the pop-up when user hovers over it to better bring the focus on your contact form or your leads form, whatever it is. So there you have it. And I'll teach you 5 practical animations that you can add to pop-ups in the next video. Stay tuned. I'll talk to you real soon. And that's it for now and hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.